This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams who demonstrably belong on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and the fans wired in? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. Hello from one of the great venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Real Madrid facing Alaves. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Chances on. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. <laughs> Guevara. And the advantage. Well, a bit naughty, that challenge. So early in the contest. Interesting to see what the referee's going to do about it. Good weight on that pass. Getting involved here, but the flag goes up offside. Well, he just needs to play that a bit sooner. The pass was definitely on. Tony Kors. Promising pass. Cross couldn't keep it. Under Guevara. Oh, nice ball. Not forcing the issue. Great composure. could be the equaliser that was going in who can he pick out it's not a particularly good corner there Vinicius Junior must score oh a save right out of the top drawer Super stop. Rodrigo. Very quick thinking there. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. a good position from which to counter and a decent delivery oh such an elegant finish how about that on the volley a brilliant strike whatever way you look at it well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and the finish is clinical it just makes it look so easy doesn't it
So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Federico Valverde. Valverde. Rodrigo. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. And Real come away with it. He has time to play it over. Intercepted effortlessly. Valverde. This is looking promising. Of course, must take the lead here. And they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here you can see it again. He's gone for placement over power, and it's a brilliant finish. Well, what delight for Ancelotti. That's just what he wanted. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. And foul it is then. Well, when you've already been booked, Stuart, you've got to tread carefully. Well, that's not intelligent play, is it? He's lucky still to be on the field. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Not a good pass. That's useful play. Well, it could be on for him here. They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Well, here's the replay. And I have to say, the keeper's got his angles all wrong there. That's a poor piece of goalkeeping. Well, Ancelotti can't hide his emotions, can he? That could be a big turning point in the game. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Tony Kors. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. Technique. Well, here's another look, and the technique is just ridiculous. Outside of the boot, lots of power, and all the wall and keeper can do is admire the audacity of it. We're going to be seeing this over and over again, Derek. moving again 3-2 Vinicius Junior and defensive play to be applauded and pressing from the front A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Space for Real out wide. Opportunity. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating.
Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, there's a man who knows his team have been really good today. Just what Ancelotti would have wanted. So the current scoreline, 4-2. has added on two minutes of stoppage time that's a foul and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick done and there goes the half-time whistle it's Real Madrid who'll be the happier of the two teams they hold the lead at the break Stuart well we said how good they are at the back but today it's been the front players still in the show they really have been a handful for the opposition their ability in 1v1 situations has been excellent Excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Oh, that one has promise. Foiling his opponent completely. Possession one. goalkeeper that time Rodrigo very quick thinking there and the counter looks on here options available Sola well, very effective play in possession There it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Clear foul, but a Real Madrid advantage. Gorosado. Very well to win it back. What can they do from here? And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. With well, play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. So 30 minutes left for play in this one. Could be tenacious tackling, excellent defending there. And 
And a throw in forthcoming. And time for the change now. An alert intervention. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Rodrigo. Really sound defending. And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce perhaps well he was just too static in the end which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation beautiful pass and possession given away Decided to make a change. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. A very good tackle. Real Madrid getting the throw in. Well, the visitors have controlled possession, as you can see, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Just 15 minutes remaining. Rioja. So a throw in for Real Madrid. Lucas Vasquez. He's in here. Well, he was on his own, but couldn't take advantage of it. Well, I'm not surprised he missed that. He never really looked in complete control, did he? Substitution for Real Madrid. think it's on and what a magical save it was <laughs> and in by Luka Modric oh a very fine header but it wouldn't go in for him a double substitution it's going to be. Look at Modric with the corner. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. David Alaba. Nicely timed tackle. Kike Garcia. That's a good looking ball. And so it will be a corner.
laying it in. Well, you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Under Guevara. Plenty of support here. And that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Good pull one back here. Rodrigo. Vinicius Jr. And Bellingham. Oh, could be. Great challenge. But still they must concentrate. And the shot just over the top. So there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid victorious and their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, we spoke about their great defensive record, but today it was all about their front players. I thought they were excellent. Their ability to turn with the ball around the edge of the box was a real feature of their play. They were certainly good value for that win.